promised. I said I'd go. I'd um, I sent you all a uh, work solution. Okay, and I promised I'd just quickly talk through that this week. So here we go. We were looking last week at using um, integration by algebraic substitution for our function that we devised from the practice data. So we were looking to integrate this function. Okay. So we we want to integrate that between zero and twenty relative to x. So the first thing to do is separate the two integrals and take any constants outside. Because if we got integrals of a function added together, we just integrate them separately and add them together. So we can separate off the 1.53 times, and we just put a 1 times dx in there, and we've taken that constant out. We can deal with that separately at the end. It's this bit here that we need to apply integration by algebraic substitution to. So we're looking to solve just that part first. The left hand side, left hand of the plus sign. So we let u equal the function inside the cosine function. Then we uh, differentiate that function. So the constant, the addition of pi over 2 disappears. And we end up with 2 pi over 36. We are re rearrange that for dx. So we get dx as 36 over 2 pi times du. Follow that so far. Yep. Right, next bit is on the next page. So, therefore, we can write that, the integral we're looking to integrate, in terms of u. So we're looking at, we make it cos u, and then we apply dx, or we substitute for dx, 36 over 2 pi times du. Okay? Everybody, are you both happy? See what I've done there? So for this bit, I've substituted u. And for that bit, I've substituted 36 over 2 pi times du. Because if, if u is the variable now, that's got to be in terms of u. Yep. So then take the constant here outside. So I've multiplied 36 by 1.37 on the top, 2 pi underneath. So take the constant out. The integral of cos u is sine u between 20 and 0, 49.32 over 2 pi outside the integral. All right, yeah. So we, we then replace u with the function that we call u in the first place. Get that? Yeah? Yeah, what, what I did was I left the 1.53 as is. So then I had signed Yeah, 1.53 hasn't come back yet, Jack. No. All right. Still, we're still doing just this part, this function, yeah, at the moment. All right. Or just that function, actually. But we've substituted in u. Yeah, taken the constants out. Integrated that function, and then replaced u with what we called u in the first place. All right. Now we solve the other half of the, the original integral. So that becomes 
the constant 1 becomes x again. So that's 1.53x of x between x is equal to 0 and 20. Yep. All right. Yeah. Good. Next page, we bring both those results together. So the overall area, because that's what we're looking to calculate, is the area underneath the function's curve between 0 and 20 is equal to that fancy integral plus the little bit of 1.53x integral added together. Follow? Yeah, good. We put the limits in. So between 20 and 0, all, all of that part is multiplied by 49.32 over 2 pi, and all of this part is multiplied by 1.53. And we stuff those numbers in the calculator, we get 15.37, which is around the same value as we got using the other methods, Simpson's rule, using the software, and so on. Okay. Happy now? Yeah. Yeah. I sent that out, Caleb. Did you get it? Uh, sent that yeah. word solution out, yeah. yeah. But I said I'd just talk through it today at the start of the session, so. All right. <laughs>